the show. Welcome yeah. to Attack of the Show, TV's only source for all the <sighs> lady oh, abuse you care is. about. I'm sorry, I'm Kevin Pereira. I was just high five. Can we get a close up of that? That's really red. It's not that red. No, it's really red. Oh. Okay, it feels red. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> After reviewing the play, <laughs> wham. And I'm Candace Bailey. We are coming to you live from the C4 Studios in Los Angeles. Yes, we are. No. <laughs> On the show today, Sasha Ronan. Yeah. Will be here. She's the uh, star, of course, the assassin in Hannah. She'll probably end up murdering me in real life, but I don't care. She's adorable. She can, she can end me. Plus, are you craving zombie TV? Yes. Well, Blair Butler went all the way to WonderCon to ask Walking Dead creator Robert Kirkman about season two. Yay! Only one question, though. Just one. Then Chris Gore talks to the stars of Your Highness about Yay! drugs, evil meat smoking sorcerers, and um, drugs. He's doing vulgar things behind what? the camera. What? I was not. Don't worry, not. nothing actually gets smoked on camera, at least. <laughs> what an apt time to cut to me. <laughs> and the sequel to the Sony PlayStation game, Infamous, is coming out June 7th. Yeah. But you don't have to wait two whole months for a glimpse of the action. We have got a trailer. Holy hell! That is a program. That is a show that I will watch today. Okay. Yeehaw! It's viral video time, y'all. We're about to run up there in the internet now. <laughs> Get another yeehaw. Go for it. Get a clean yeehaw. Get another yeehaw. Yeehaw! All right, and at number five today, we have some urban vandalism. Here's concrete proof that instant karma really is going to get you. <laughs> See, the beauty is that everybody was saying that sign was washed up after it lost the uh, heavyweight title to Tyson in 87. <laughs> but I'm telling you, that inanimate object still has reflexes like a cat. A frisbee-shaped cat. <laughs> I, I that was it. lame laughs. Well, like, I don't know if you, we I, feel sorry for you I was laughs. imagining a frisbee cat. I don't know if anybody else was. But I totally imagined a little furry disc with eyes and a little tail that would, <laughs> as you threw it. Is it hairy? The furry, yeah, fuzzy, it could be. That's kind of weird. Can we strap a cat to a frisbee by the end of the show? <laughs> that is so mean. A stuffed cat. I mean, we can't. We can do a stuffed cat. Yeah. Effect. Let's see if we. No, we can't. No okay, I'm, I'm getting the eyes. No. <laughs> Nobody wants to go out to CVS. They're like, mm, I don't want. I'm not getting a frisbee. I'm not getting it. Forget it. In at number four today, more bizarro viral ads from the fine folks at Skittles. Their new interactive YouTube clips will definitely make you wonder if those colorful little candies are spiked with something a little more potent than sugar. Mm. Touch the rainbow. No, seriously. Put your index finger on your screen where the Skittle is. A video is going to start, and your finger is going to hurt someone. But only if it's there. Now. Do you really love me for me? Or are you just using me for my Skittles? Hello? <sighs> I think you should go. <laughs> then stop pointing at me. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, weird. I'd still hit it, but <laughs> of course there is only one thing creepier than a Skittles face. It it's this guy. Yeah. Oh. Oh. You looking to hitch your ride? It's time for me to transform. transform. <laughs> Hop on. <laughs> Hope you're not some kind of weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Hope you're not some kind of weirdo. Yeah. Obviously, that's exactly the kind of person you should accept candy and a free ride from. <laughs> that is. I Perfect. wonder if his white panel van is covered in Skittles. Oh, no, but I bet his basement dungeon is. Mm, I bet so. That's the one. <laughs> <laughs> I would totally pay to watch them Swede Transformers with a bunch of senior citizens. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Uh, today's number three item, this is entitled Teen Steam, and it stars a young Alyssa Milano. Whoa. Really let the gravity of that sink in for a second there. Just, okay, that's good. You get it. <laughs> Teen Steam. Once upon a time, she sang and exercised her way through a questionable workout video. Unfortunately for her, the internet never forgets. Gotta let it out. Team Steam. Gotta let it out. Gotta let it out. Team Steam. Gotta get it out. I feel 
the steam rising. We're gonna let it out the same way it got in. Breathe in. Six. Six. I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest real quick. I've uh, well I've been teen steam into that video for about 23 years. Now. <laughs> so, um, that just sounds really dirty. Well, it's it's because it is, Candace. You should <laughs> you should see me when I'm teen steaming. I'm telling you, it's a beautiful sight. Oh! Just gotta... oh, Kevin, I never knew you had that body. Well, it's all thanks to teen steam, Candace. <laughs> I was a uh, I was a pair, but now I'm full hourglass. Gotta let it out the same way you let it in. Remember that. <laughs> Team Steam. <laughs> that looked like a commercial for Night Trap. That's the saddest thing. <laughs> just like, <laughs> just a terrible Sega CD game. Oh. Our number two video Memories. is a sorry. <laughs> is a clip from the 1989 film Samurai Cop, a favorite of bad movie enthusiasts everywhere. Yeah, Samurai Cop contains multitudes. It's not just a terrible movie about a cop who's also a samurai. <laughs> it also happens to be a patriotic ode to what makes this country so damn great. Now I'm telling these son of a bitches that we respect the Japanese of this country who are honest businessmen. And yeah, this is the land of opportunity for legitimate business, not for death merchants who distribute drugs to our children through schools and on the streets. Now I'm telling these mother that if they continue killing our children to make their precious millions that they deposit in their secret Swiss bank accounts. <laughs> Counselor, before your lawsuit even gets off the court clerk's desk, I'll have their stinking bodies in garbage bags and ship them back to Japan for fertilizer. Got it? Got it. I'm, I'm sorry, I thought that deserved a slow clap. <laughs> Attention, dude with long hair. This is for you, okay? This is an acting award for amazing acting. That's what you did. Because Oscar gold just isn't good enough for you. So your award is made out of pure ham. It's a beautiful thing. Well done. Well done, sir. Still ahead. An execution takes a surprising turn. Prepare for the unexpected and our number one alone. Today's ATN featured Alyssa Milano working out with some giggly gal pals. We desperately want to be in on this joke. So tell us, what the hell is so funny? Tweet us your responses at AOTS, hashtag OMG, ROF, LOL. If your response makes us, well, laugh, we'll feature it on tomorrow's show. Indeed, today's number one is something we never thought we'd actually run. It's a mana mana short film. Oh. Yeah. That's because the catchy Italian nonsense song is brand new when it's performed by these two gentlemen. Mana mana. Mana mana. Mana mana. Mana mana. Mana mana. Mana mana. Like starts to sing faster. 
Yeah, here we go. He's like, maybe I'm going to get saved. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's still only the second creepiest use of that song, which debuted in an Italian porn called Sweden, Heaven, and Hell. Yeah. Now try to enjoy the Muppets, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> it's really nice. Yeah. In an unrelated note, today is the Internet's 42nd birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday, Internet. Guys, no, 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 no. No. What? No, no. It's, it's sad how easily you've been misled by the lamestream media. Oh. Kevin, what are you talking about? Well, today is not the Internet's birthday, Candace. That's what I'm talking about. That's all I'm saying. Well, okay, you're right. I mean, technically, there are several different dates that could be considered the birth of the Internet. Today just marks the anniversary of the request for comments memo distribution on ARPANET. No, so. no, 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 Candace. I, I, think it's, I think it's time for a little lesson. Okay, so, so you, you think the Internet's birthday is today. Of course, of course you do, because you've been reading all these websites saying, Happy Birthday, Internet, and you've made it to 42 Internet. But if it is indeed the Internet's birthday, then why hasn't the Internet shown us its birth certificate? Oh. Now, the answer is because it's not the Internet's birthday. Oh. What? The Internet doesn't have a birth certificate. Mm, exactly. Exactly. So stay with me here, Candace. Because we're about to go through the rabbit hole, people. <clears throat> now, Candace, you're right. Today was the day, April 7th, that ARPANET distributed the RFC memo. But who sent that memo? Steve Crocker sent that memo. Steve Crocker of the University of Los Angeles in California. You know what I'm talking about? UCLA. Steve Crocker, okay? Now, that's in Hollywood. And what's uh -huh. across the mountain from Hollywood? Anybody know what that is? Studio City? Stu no, the San Fernando Valley. <laughs> the San Fernando Valley, home to pornography studios. Oh! Okay, where are you going with this, Kevin? Okay, now what most people don't know is that it was the early pornographers, along with the UCLA staff, who initially funded research for the internet. Oh! And with the backing of the Department of Defense, and Al Gore, who traveled back in time with the help of George Soros and Uwata the Watcher. <laughs> of course, Uwata the Watcher is the ever vigilant and impartial observer of humanity. Okay, so <laughs> when was the Internet's real birthday? <laughs> I'm getting to that, Candace. I'm getting to that. <laughs> so, when Al Gore was shot back in time, he traveled to the house of a young Tim Berners-Lee with a piece of artwork that was printed in Dot Matrix. Now, as we all know, DOT, or D-O-T, stands for Department of Transportation, which was elevated to a cabinet position by Lyndon Johnson. Johnson being a colloquialism for penis. <laughs> which in Hindu is known as the lingam. Lingam, the lingam. Ling lingam, 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 bringam. Bringam Young of the Mormons. <laughs> the Church of the Latter-day Saints, of the Saints of New Orleans. 2010 Super Bowl champions, who of course are from the Superdome. <laughs> Which is where the refugees of Katrina stayed. Now, you put all that together, ipso facto. Wait, 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 wait. You have wait. So what was the artwork that traveled back in time? Oh. What's this? Picture of two people doing it. Really? Yep. Is that what that is? That's what that is. Yeah, and now this file, Candace, was the very first image ever masturbated to on a network computer. And, <laughs> excuse me, that is the true birthday of the Internet. So when was that? Uh, I don't know, but it probably wasn't today. <laughs> <sighs> to get your daily viral fix and to check out all the viral videos we have to offer, go to g4tv.com slash around the net. Suck it, Bailey. <laughs>
So to be, uh, I think issue 83 just came out, and you know I've written well ahead of that. I, I know exactly what happens in issue 100, and it's like a certainty that we're going to get there as long as I don't get hit by a bus. But uh, yeah, it's it's really exciting. I can't wait. <laughs> Without dropping any spoilers, the number of people left alive in the comic is rapidly dwindling. Who will be left to kill by issue 100? Well, you know, we're always cycling in new characters and keeping it fresh, and you know, I don't know. Does that ever make actors on the TV show nervous? I know there are a few people that are like, oh man, I, you know, and then Stephen Young, who plays Glenn, walks right. around set like, my character's still alive. <laughs> hey, Jeffrey Devon, is Dale still alive in the comic? Oh, he's not? Oh, well. <laughs> hey, dog, repeat that last, repeat. We have heard, though, that Herschel's farm, I think people have talked about that publicly, that that will be part of season two. Yeah, I can definitely say that a good portion of the season is devoted to Herschel's farm. We get to see Maggie, possibly see Glenn and Maggie interact for the first time, which is going to be a lot of fun. So there's going to be a lot of differences and a lot of cool twists that comic fans aren't going to expect. But there's going to be some stuff from the comic where you're like, oh, that's cool to see, you know? <laughs>
half as long. Twice as bright. Time to check out the Twitters. I agree. Well, then why don't we? Okay, Kevin. <laughs> RJ Lo2113 says, when they finally decide to make an infamous movie, I sure hope they cast Jason Statham and Danny McBride. Yes, yeah. I agree. Danny McBride's awesome. Although, slight spinoff, Kenny Powers with, su with superpowers based off electricity would be pretty dope. <laughs> I'd like to see that. Uh, let's see. Vic Jericho says, when is AOTS covering Candace's face in skin? We're not. Yes. Uh, AOTS is now not. Now that the idea Candace's has face. been given, probably 15 minutes. Yay! If we can get enough. Oh, don't tempt me. I can't eat the Skittles right now. We have to wait until after Lent. Oh, it's okay. like. What, really? Wait, did I just you say agree? that? Yeah. Like, would it be like no, putting like a, I, like a treat on a dog's it? nose where you want to eat of it, course. but you feel like you can't? That's so mean. I can't do I can't. I'll sin. I can't sin. <laughs> Skittles on the face is not a sin. It's a blessing yeah, to the I'll audience. Eat it. That right. will be a sin. Control yourself. <laughs> Control. All right. No Skittles on the face. <laughs> Until next week. <laughs> okay. If you guys want to be a part of the show and end up on our Twitter wall, tweet us at AOTS or use the hashtag AOTS. It's time for some news that's not protected by a paywall. Hola, Sarah Underwood. Gracias, amigos. Ahora es tiempo par el fido. It's Thursday, April 7th, and here are your top stories. YouTube is planning a major overhaul to compete with broadcast and cable TV. The Wall Street Journal is reporting that Google's Video Hub will be revamped with newly curated channels chock full of original material. The site plans to invest a whopping $100 million to fund new professionally pr produced content. To start, they'll primarily focus on sports and the arts, but knowing YouTube and all cat video channel it is not that unlikely. The Pandora mobile app. What? That wasn't funny? Hello? <laughs> All cat video channel. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> the Pandora mobile app may be a godsend for music lovers, but the data it sends to advertisers sounds like something from the mind of Orwell. The personal music service was subpoenaed earlier this week in connection with data mining, and now security firm Veracode has confirmed that the mobile app gives generous amounts of personal data to five separate ad networks, including your gender, age, the unique ID of your phone, and your exact location. Yeah, apparently that location tracking is provided continuously. So the data could be used to follow a user's movement over time, which is extremely creepy and not cool. Not cool. That, that stamp is cool. Actually, Kevin, that was kind of cool. I have, I have something that I think would make me happy. Come here, Rufus. Come here. Oh. Come here, just do it. Okay. Just do it. I, yeah, 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 you ask, I do. Kevin, you are so not cool. <laughs> That was fun. Okay. <sighs> Anyways, meanwhile, in Aww. Aww. Kevin, 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 come here, come here, Kevin, you are not cool. No, that's not. <laughs> Sarah, Sarah, Sarah. <laughs> okay, go. What the? <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile, in the former Soviet Union, the country of Armenia had a catastrophic internet outage yesterday. The culprit? A little old lady. Aww. The 75 year old Georgian woman was scavenging for copper when she severed an underground cable that delivers 90% of Armenia's internet. The outage lasted several hours and affected parts of Azerbaijan and Georgia too. The spade hacker, as they're calling her, <laughs> might be looking at three years in prison. I'll let you leave it up to.
to you to imagine how bad a few years in former Soviet prison might be. That poor thing. Oh. <laughs> and finally, the trailer for the Beastie Boys upcoming album, Hot Sauce Committee Part 2, hit the interwebs today. And it's got more Hollywood stars than a Southern California rehab clinic, if you know what I mean. Brace yourself for awesome. Hot <laughs> Sauce Committee Part 2 hits shelves on May 3rd. I'm Sarah Underwood. You've just been fed. Word. Yay! Now let's go back to Candace and Kevin. Thanks, Sarah. Yeah, thanks, Sarah. You're welcome. <laughs> Love you, Sarah. Yeah, Love you too, your toast the best. Awesome. <laughs> Until recently, if you wanted to watch a movie about pot smoking sorcerer, you had to shoot it yourself. Yeah, but thankfully, Your Highness opens this weekend, so now all you have to do is pay for a ticket, right? <laughs> mm hmm. Right. Chris Gore sat down with stars Danny McBride and James Franco. See if you can spot when he gets his contact high. Ever dreamt of partaking in a medieval quest on weed? Can I sleep on it? A stoner tale for the ages. Your Highness is a medieval comedy quest about what else? Saving a kidnapped princess from an evil weed smoking sorcerer. Here I come. Ow. This quest sucks. Now, the film with your characters features a lot of brotherly love. Did things get uncomfortably close on camera? Uh, never uncomfortable, but we did get close. You know, James is my first on-screen kiss with a male. I surprised him. I can't take yeah. credit for that idea. David Gordon Green yeah. told me to surprise Danny that we should not tell him. And I surprised you yeah. because I was like, yeah, let's do that. I've been wanting to do it all day. I don't know what took you so long. Yeah. Let's do that again. Danny wanted to do multiple takes. Yeah. Was a little weird. I don't want to suck it. You suck it. I can't reach you with my mouth. Shut suck it. it. Your Highness has everything audiences loved about Lord of the Rings, except with more oh, weed right. and boobs. More weed more boobs, more funny boner jokes. That's impressive, that. Why would anyone want to be with you? Perhaps because I'm rich, I live in a castle, and I can do magic. Why is it taken, like, a million years for a medieval stoner comedy to come to theaters? That's, that's our whole question when we were making this movie. It's like, it seems like it, it's just inherent in the genre of it. It was it just seemed like a very natural, like, this hasn't been done before. Like, of course, this, this needs to exist. People need to, to go to the theater and enjoy it with a tub of popcorn, and they also need to buy the DVD and kick their feet up and, and enjoy it at the, end of, uh, at the end of a hard day at work. Finally, alone. Now, why is it that swearing just sounds so regal with an English accent? I don't know what the recipe is, but there is a uh, there is something you that you can say a lot uh, more when you're speaking in an you accent. You can yeah. because when you hear that fake British accent, it feels like what you're saying is very important. So when you say some crass, dirty stuff, it just seems wrong. Like me cockles? I can't believe you just said that without a British accent, but yeah. That was a British accent, I think. With our huge muscles, we shall protect you. Oh, really? Oh, really? <laughs> that didn't really go as planned. How did you get Oscar award-winning actress Natalie Portman to show her butt. Um, well, that was a, it was an interesting conversation because I, I, what I did to hook her to come and be in the movie is I, I promised her all the big laughs and that she had some great scene-stealing comedy and things like that that she hadn't done before. But then I also kind of just whispered out of the side of my mouth, and also, we kind of want to see your butt in the movie. Would that be, would that be cool? Oh, God, she's looking at us. Remain perfectly still. Who handles a bigger sword? Mm. Uh, well... We did compare swords. We touched tips at one point, yeah. Sometimes we shared a sword. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we use the same sword. Yeah. yeah. I think we both can handle a pretty big sword. Yeah. We're both kind of broadsword kind of guys. We don't really like the daggers, you know, mm. little size. We're into something that you need two hands yeah. firmly to swing properly. Nice to meet you. Oh, wow. Mm. Sword, sorcerer, and sativa. Your Highness is one trip you won't soon forget. See it with a bud. <laughs> People, I cannot stress this enough. Go see Your Highness. It's in theaters this weekend. Stay tuned because coming up next, Sir Ronan from Hannah. Yeah. murder us all. Oh, that's cool. The feed is brought to you by Blackberry. Damn. You're dead. Major fail. Fail. Fail, 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 fail. You lose. Kevin sat down with the star of Hannah to ask her about the upcoming girl assassin flick. 
I was... Two. Yeah, you should have visual on the psych evaluation now. Can I get you something? What do you like? Music? Magazines? Just ask. Anything at all. I want to speak to Marissa Vigla. Tell her I'll be there tonight. I can handle this. Just do what you're told. <laughs> Not gonna end well for her. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Saoirse Ronan. <laughs> I'm trying not to make any sudden movements. Oh, yeah. I don't want to upset Are you. you. Threatened? I do, very! Mm -hmm. Just, I mean, you're... I could probably kick your ass. I, you, there's, no! there's, there's no probably about it. <laughs> <laughs> you could absolutely gonna, destroy me. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'll just create some space. <laughs> Shall I? So, Sersha, tell me about the extensive training uh, <laughs> that you had for this, because you really, you, you went through the ringer on this one. I did, yeah. Um, I trained for a couple of months before we started shooting. Mm. And it was a uh, Barry's boot camp, a little, <laughs> little treadmill. And There's then... a lot of whey protein involved there. Really? Um, to, well, my trainer tried to inflict that on me, and, uh, <laughs> and I just said, no, I couldn't do it. It tastes disgusting. But I did, like, weightlifting, and um, there was this thing called a, a skull crusher. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's like yeah. a bar. Yeah, it's that's like a That's a dude bar. at the gym here at LA Fitness at West Hollywood. Yeah, well, like, that's watch right. out. That's skull crushers in the locker room. And, um, you know, if you drop it, you could, this you guy, could crush right? your skull. Yeah. Yeah, it's, so, so, it's I not mean, too pleasant. But uh, in addition to, to hitting the weights and, and, and choking down whey protein, uh, was there a lot of like sword play, gun play, bow and arrow, that kind of stuff? Or? Sort of, yeah. I did martial arts, um, just different styles. Mm -hmm. And um, I did stick fighting and weapons training. So I learned how to use a gun. Um, I learned how to shoot a bow and arrow. So plenty of skills there. You really should be scared. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I, you're all laughing. I am terrified, so thank you. I appreciate it. Um, and I think it's interesting that no amount of training in the world could prepare you to put your hand inside of a deer, I'm willing to bet. No life experience could have given me <laughs> that. I mean, it was, uh, and it was a real deer as well. What? Which was, it was, yeah. They, they put fake guts inside. Um, and <laughs> you like that? It was like, yeah. I mean, the day that we did it, it was about minus 25 degrees. And we were on a frozen lake and uh, my hands were freezing and my fingers wouldn't work properly. And, and I had to get all these guts out and I had goo all over my hands. And then suddenly I had to go into this fight with Eric Bannon. <laughs> it was interesting, <laughs> you know? That's that was the entire shoot, really. That's <laughs> that's that was and the whole feel. Dear Diary, day is done. Yeah. <laughs> Hand did inside of deer. And today. You really, you take it to him in the film as well. Like, did, did he let you go full force? Um, I don't, I don't think he expected me to. <laughs> so, I mean, at the, at the Surprise! Start, yeah, at the start he kind of held back a little bit because, mm -hmm. you know, basically he was fighting this little girl, or so he thought. And, um, and I had gotten, I'd gotten quite good at martial arts mm -hmm. and I kind of went for him. So I caused a bit of pain. Plus, once you've had your fist that far inside a deer, though, you're no longer a little girl. You're clearly a woman <laughs> no. at that point. So you I'll are hardened. I'll never go back to innocence. And you're ready for that now. Ever again. <laughs> mm. Congrats. Um, the, the Chemical Brothers do the score for the film, which uh, I think is a super interesting choice. It's an amazing score that they did for the film. Um, and actually, Joe has known them for years. Mm -hmm. So I guess they've, they've had a long, um, good relationship together. But... What I love about their score is that they've still got their signature Chemical Brothers sound, mm -hmm. but they've kind of incorporated a, a fairground circus sound too, um, which makes it a little bit more innocent. Like yeah, Hannah, absolutely. You know, do you, do you, are you a Chemical Brothers fan? Do you like electronic music? Are you more into the indie scene? What are, what's... I kind of like everything, to be honest. Um, I love the Chemical Brothers, mm -hmm. and I really became a big fan of theirs when we play their music all the time on set, which Joe did. Right. Um, I like their music better when it's played to me. <laughs> I like when every song sounds me, better when it's when for me. When they dedicate yeah. it to me, it's a lot better. <laughs> um, and I'm also a fan of Lady Gaga. Oh, oh, you're She's, monster. I am a little monster. Uh, what is it about the Gaga that does it for you? I mean, I know why I love her. I have a laundry list, <laughs> but I'm curious, what does it for you? Don't diss Gaga now. I'm not. I, Don't diss Gaga. I, <laughs> look, I can't help it. I was born this way. Uh, <laughs> okay. nice. 
Try to make some friends. She's uh, no, she's just fantastic. She's an amazing musician. She cares about music. She cares about art and. Um, is very giving to her fans and mm -hmm. and she's very honest as well. I mean, I know her looks are quite elaborate and out there, but mm -hmm. she's actually a really honest person. Absolutely, so, absolutely. Yeah. Um, but before you go, I know you worked with uh, Peter Jackson previously, and there's this rumor that oh. you might be involved with the, the cast of The Hobbit. Oh, wow, well, might... that's some rumor. Is this, is this news to you? <laughs> Well, I heard IMDb has been spreading this around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that IMDb. M Mr. IMDb. <laughs> um, it's nothing is confirmed yet. Have you anything. read the Hobbit books though? I've read the Hobbit books. So you're yeah. familiar with the character that you're going to play? Well, um <laughs> You know what? That was if, quite clever. If you wouldn't have given her that pause, it might have come out. That was real clever. Um, <laughs> there aren't many female characters in the book actually, funnily enough. Um, but I know they are introducing new characters into the film. So if Pete asked me to do it, I, you know, I'd love to because I loved working with him. And if not, you can always threaten to snap his neck in six different ways because now. <laughs> then I'd get in the movie. So, Shad, you're 10 kinds of adorable. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Uh, you guys, you can see Sersha and Hannah. It opens in theaters on April 8th. Thank you, Scott. Nice. Coming up, Yay. your seatbelts. Oh. Today's epic fail gets bumpy. Yay. You should stick around. If money fell from the sky like these beats come free, we'd all be millionaires by now. But since that is clearly not happening, you get Brooklyn's finest indie band instead, TV on the radio. After a three-year hiatus, the group is back with a brand new gem in the form of caffeinated consciousness. The song is yours free by just submitting your email address for their newsletter. And their new album, Nine Types of Light, is out this spring. But if you prefer a different side to Brooklyn, fellow NY native Thalafius London is here for you with Flying Overseas. Mr. Tax, man, it's been a long time, I'll be back again. Birds and the bees be attracting uh, the pretty little flowers on the racks split. Cut off his latest EP, Lover's Holiday, this charming melody is gifted with the supporting vocals of Devonte Hines and Solange Knowles. Grab a box of chocolates, a fine wine, and mellow out with your lady friend to this free groove. Available now at GreenLabelSound.com. Then again, if your lady is looking to dance, put on your dancing shoes and crank it up with the latest from Mastercraft. Also returning from hiatus, this Canadian electronic duo makes a warm return with two surprise tracks, including this rock-infused banger entitled Beards Again. All three tracks are gifts from the artist to you. So what are you waiting for? Get online and grab some free beats. Zombie and Puppy Cuddle Fest. Coming up tomorrow on an all new Attack of the Show. It's an all new weekend edition of DV Doomsday with Chris Gore when we bring you classic films newly available on Blu ray, including the original Tron, Taxi Driver, and THX 1138. Then Blair Herter gets pounded by WWE superstars Tris Stratus and Stone Cold Steve Austin when we unveil never-before-seen footage from his visit to the Tough Enough ring. And we reveal the winners of our ATN Omgroffles, Nuts Get Busted, when your tweets wind up on our show. See it tomorrow. Hey, do you want to be part of our 420 special? Huh? Then you should give your Google Voice a ring-a-ding. Yeah, <laughs> we want to know what you think every day would be like if it were 420. Whoa. Use your imagination, stoner. Tell us by calling 805-268-7123 because we might actually animate your highness into our 420 special. Whoa. And try not to cough through the whole message. <laughs> <laughs> and now it's time for today's epic fail. Yes, drunk guys have trouble doing most things like parking cars and sometimes even walking. Oh, 
made it. Falling down the stairs saved him from drowning in the canal. Yeah, but not from failing. No. <laughs> that would actually be a cool spinoff if they did uh, Drunk City Seattle and got a bunch of, <laughs> you know, like, had a bunch of parkour dudes drinking 40s and, and trying to run to around. Do it. Oh, yeah. I think that would be a disaster. Just trying to navigate an escalator. <laughs> I would totally watch bears. that show. Drunk parkour needs to happen. <laughs> Thank you so much to Saoirse Ronan, Yay! Claire Butler, and of course, lovely Sarah Underwood. I mean, she's all right. She's Stick awesome. around. Marcel's Quantum Kitchen starts Yay! right now. Bye, Sarah. Good night. Not cool. It was not cool. cool. What she did was not cool. cool.